in the previous video we have created our car con uh, car controller script so that if we select our car in the hierarchy and set the y value to 1 the car will start driving forward and if we set something on the x uh, the car will start turning okay since we do not have the behavior to make our car travel towards a point let's create here in this video a, a car ai script that will allow the car to travel toward a specific point instead of just forward and rotating if we set the vector in the car controller script so let's stop the game and we are going to go back to our scripts folder ai let's right click create a new c -sharp script let's call it car ai and let's open this script up in visual studio great let's do the update and start methods and we are going to start implementing this car ai script what we will want to have here as i have mentioned in the theory behind the system is a list of vector three points so let's create public uh, or actually we can create it private list of vector three and this will be called path let's set it to be null uh, let's add serialized field attribute to this path so we can expose this path in the inspector so we have some understanding what is going on next we are going to create a private float and we are going to call it arrive distance and let's set it to be 0.3f by default and let's add comma let's create a last point arrive distance let's set it to point 0.1f uh, the last point arrive distance will be the distance that car should arrive uh, as near as possible to the last point but when we are performing turns we want to have a larger margin of error so we want to have a bigger arrive distance uh, value or threshold for the uh, default points but for the last point we want to get as close as we can so let's create another private float and let's call it turning angle offset let's set it to be 5 by default uh, so this value will be the threshold at which uh, we are going to check what is the rotation of our car in regard to the direction from our car to the point of interest if our car is facing forward but our point is to the right we are going to keep rotating the car until the angle is within plus minus 5 degrees next we are going to have a, a private vector 3 and we are going to call uh, it current target position and this will be the vector 3 from our path list uh, to which we want to travel uh, now so we can add serious field attribute to those uh, parameters uh, so that we can uh, set them through the inspector and we can expose the current target position in the inspector as well so that you have some idea to which point we are currently traveling towards next we will need to have a private int index equals zero and this will be the index of the point uh, on our path and we are going to check if our next point so the index for the next point is outside of the bounds of our list then we will know that we have reached the last point last thing that we will need to have is a way to stop our car what we are going to do is use another snippet for visual studio let's type prop pull tab tab and it will automatically create us a property with a backing field let's type bool as the type of this property and let's tap tab twice uh, so that we can move to the name and let's call this stop again tab uh, to move to the name of the property and call it stop with a capital s enter and now uh, in this fashion we will be able to access this stop property from other scripts great and last thing that we will want to have is a, a unity event so let's create a prop tab tab and as a, a type of our property we are going to use unity event and since we do not have it alt enter on it and you will be uh, able to use this tip using unity in engine.events library and this will create for us a setup field just like you have for a button in unity so that we can set uh, or assign a method that will be called if we invoke this event to expose it in the editor we are going to use an attribute let's open square brackets and what we want to type is field colon spacebar and serialized field so this will serialize the field 
that is the backing field for the my property instead of the my property we are going to call it on drive and i have forgotten to add here a parameter so for unity event we can add a parameter in a triangular brackets so let's add vector2 as the parameter close the uh, triangle brackets let's save it let me show you how it looks like in unity inspector so let's go back to unity okay let's select the prefabs folder let's select the car and if you minimize uh, other components you can see that our car ai script has now on drive event to which we can assign a method just like we would have in our canvas if we open canvas panel and place root button we should see on click event just the same as we have created so now if we go back to our car prefab we can add to our on drive event an event listener by clicking this plus button and if we drag uh, select our car controller and drag it as the object we can select the function for our car controller and at the top of it we have the move method and this will only mean that if we invoke our on drive event it will call our car controller that move method that in turn will allow our car controller to move in a specific direction so this will allow our car to move our car and we can send this event to any other script that we want so we are keeping our architecture decoupled our scripts decoupled from each other let's go back to our car ai script great what we want to do here is underneath our event we want to create start method enter to create it from the snippet what we want to say is if our path is equal to null or if our path dot count is equal to zero we will want to set our stop to be true and uh, use the parameter stop so with capital s and else we are going to call our current target position so this is the current vector uh, three position where we want to travel towards and let's set it to be equal to path with index and since our index by default is set to zero we are going to set our current target position as the first position on our path now we will need a method that will allow us to set a path for our car so let's create a new method public void we are going to call it set path and here we are going to pass a list of vector 3 so this will be the vector 3 points and let's call it path great and here what we will want to do is if our path dot count is equal zero we are going to simply call our uh, car to be destroyed so destroy game object and we will want to return to prevent our car for just existing in our world without a path to follow next what we want to do is set this dot path so the path inside the, so the list of vector threes inside our car ai equals this path that was passed in as the argument for this method now what we can do is again set our index to be zero just uh, for safety and let's set current target position equals this dot path with index index so with index zero and now what we can do is make sure that our car when spawned is facing the direction towards the next position and to do that we will need to calculate the relative position from our car to this point in the space of our car so that we can calculate the angle and rotate the car so that it is facing the next position on our path so what we will need to do is call vector3 relative point equals and we are going to use transform dot inverse transform point which will transform position from world space to the local space of our car and we are going to pass here this dot uh, path with index index plus one which is the next position on our path if we have this we can easily calculate our angle uh, which is uh, between our car and this point so float angle and we are going to use math f dot a tan 2 and we are going to pass a relative po uh, point dot x and relative 
point dot z and since the angle will be in ra radians we are going to multiply it by math f dot rad 2 degree and this will be the angle in degrees now if you are not sure how to calculate an angle uh, you can see that this is just a calculation of a angle in a triangle so we have one direction is the direction that the car is facing and the other direction is the direction from the car towards the point that is of interest to us and you can visit the Khan Academy to learn why we are using Arcus Tangent to calculate this angle great so now if we know the angle between the car forward direction and the direction towards our point we simply want to rotate our car to face this direction by default when we spawn our car on our map and to do this we simply want to call transform dot rotation and we want to set it to be equal to quaternion dot euler and quaternion allow us, uh, allows us to set the rotation to objects and we are going to pass euler angles and we have only y uh, axis uh, angle so we will set zero as the, uh, the x value our angle as the y value and zero as the z value so our car will only be rotated on y axis and next what we can do is simply call stop equals false so we want to start our car moving in the direction of the first uh, position on our path and since we have spawned it there we now want to have a way to check if we are in close proximity to the point on our path and if we are we want to access the next position on our path so to do all of this let's create update method enter and we are going to call two methods here first one will be check if arrived we do not have this method so alt enter on it and generate this method in our file and another method will be drive and here again we do not have it so alt enter and generate this method let's start from check if arrive so let's slide down where it is placed and what we would want to do is if we are not stopped so if stop property is equal to false we are going to check the distance between our position and our car and to do this we are going to set var distance to check equals arrive distance so our default distance now if our current index is equal to path dot count minus one meaning that this is the last point we want to set our distance to check as the last arrive distance last uh, point arrive distance i'm going to rename it using control rr and make the p to be capital p okay and that's how we are going to switch between the arrive distance and last point arrive distance now this will be the simple check if our vector 3 dot distance so we want to check the distance between the current target position and the transform dot position so the point of interest and the position of our car if this is less than than our distance to check which we have uh, set here if this is less than distance to check we want to call a method called set next target index we do not have this method so alt enter on it and generate it and let's implement it so we have we will be done with our check if arrived so in this set next target index let's delete the throw error or exception code and we will want to call index simply index plus plus so select the next index of course we will need to check if our index is greater or equal to path dot count so it is outside of the bounds of our list of positions then we will want to call stop equals true so we want to stop our car and we will want to destroy this game object so let's type destroy and let's type game object so as i have uh, mentioned previously we will want to remove the car from our map if it has reached its destination now else if index is still in bounds simply we are going to call current target position equals path and access the index uh, of our path that we have set above and this is how we are going to set the next current target position let's save it and we have still a couple methods to implement for example this drive method so in drive again we are going to set 
if or we are going to check if we are not uh, we are stopped actually if we are stopped we are going to call on drive so this is our unity event and to uh, if nothing is listening to this event of e or if we have not assigned a method this might throw us an exception so to prevent this we are going to add question mark to it and this will check if this event if anybody is listening so if we have assigned any method to our event if we did we are going to call dot invoke and this will allow us to only call this uh, code invoke if there is somebody uh, listening to this event so if it is we are going to invoke vector2.0 meaning that we want our car to simply stop else if our stop is false so we are moving towards the next target point we are going to call vector3 and again we are going to calculate a relative point to our car position equals transform dot inverse transform uh, point and here we are going to pass our current target position so again we are going to type float angle and we can copy the same code that we had above so let's copy the code from our set path and let's paste it here for the angle calculation and what we can do is now we can uh, check what is our angle so we need to call var rotate car equals zero which is the parameter that we will pass uh, to our uh, on the drive as the x value so if we want to perform rotation or not if it is zero we will not want to perform the rotation so if our angle is greater than turning angle offset which we set at the top to be five degrees so if there is difference greater than five degrees so the angle is greater than five degrees we want to rotate our car by simply setting rotate car uh, value to be one else if uh, our angle is less than minus turning angle offset meaning that we want to rotate in other direction as the uh, rotate car value we are going to pass minus one so this will basically mean that if we pass one we are rotating to the right if we are passing minus one we are rotating to the left so if we want to rotate or not we are still going to call on drive question mark to see if anybody is listening to it dot invoke and we are going to pass new vector 2 and pass rotate car value as x value and 1 as y value so we always want to go forward if we are not stopped and we want to rotate depending on the calculation of the angle uh, depending on the position of our uh, point of interest okay this was a lot of code writing and this is enough for now we are going to add to the script when we need to add a collision detection between different cars for now let's save the script and let's go back to unity okay since we had already added the component to our car it is all set we can set the arrive distance to be something like 0.2 to make our car more precise but other than that we have all that we need to right now uh, create a path the general path that i was talking about just going through the center of a each cell that contains a road so we are going to implement the f uh, this functionality to our script called uh, our ai director and we are going to run in the next video uh, our car simulation so the car will travel through the center of the road and we are going to check how it works okay see you in the next video